Hi, I bought me a um, bar stool in that's a bit low. Let me, I'm trying to figure it out. That's a bit low though. What about now? That's not bad. I don't know. Hang on. I do feel like it's quite low. Right, I'm just trying to have a, I can't be bothered to be honest. I've got a bit of backache. Let's try this. That might be too low. That's not bad. You can still see me behind. I think I might go with this, you know. Um, yeah, right, let me go make a drink because I really can't see a coffee. I feel so far away. I've made a drink. Am I really far away? I don't know. Go and get a drink. Anyway, I've had a Sainsbury's delivery. So, yeah, my slot was between 11 and 12 and it has arrived. So I'm going to show you all the bits that I got. I found a coupon online. That's why I went with Sainsbury's because it was something like, I think it was £15 off a £60 shop. So I was like, oh, I'll have a bit of that. I always have a look online if there's any discount codes for any of like the supermarkets and stuff. So yeah, I've not done Sainsbury's for a very long time. It's not a shop that I'd usually go to. Um, but I thought, you know what, this coupon, like it, <coughs> excuse me, um, was not a bad shout. So the only thing that I didn't like um, is I had one substitution and I'd ordered a joint of pork. So I think it was like £4.45. It was just like one of your average you know joints of pork and they'd substituted it for a ten pound one so yeah ten pound it cost and it doesn't look that much bigger than what you'd get for around four or five pounds you know so i think i'm gonna stand up i don't know if i'm liking this setup i feel really far away cheeks are a bit orange and all nothing's changed but um yeah i feel really far away i am gonna stand up i think even though it's quite cozy it's quite nice you know cheers I just want to say as well, thank you so much um, for your lovely comments on last night's video. I'm still replying to people as well. Um, so yeah, last night, just going off topic, I know it's a food haul, um, showing me Sainsbury's bargains. But um, yeah, I uploaded our fertility um, update last night and where we're at. So yeah, I'll link, well, it's below this video if you want to have a look. So yeah we're, we're all booked in as you know we'll post that on instagram and i there is share on instagram that's where we're at anyway but um yeah the comments honestly we were reading them and we're just so you know appreciative really lovely and stuff and you know nice to hear and that so yeah you know and it's nice to um hear people's stories as well and you know things that people have gone through and stuff um so yeah I, I just feel like you're all bloody amazing so yeah you know i said this on instagram like you know we're quite comfortable as a couple you know we've spoke about it and stuff and we're quite comfortable to share this journey with you so yeah um but anyway back to what you're all here for should i stand up or sit down oh I've just done my makeup and i'm a bit a bit orange and i i've just tied my hair up so it needs a wash when don't it need a wash honestly you think i don't wash my hair well you'd be right i do I try and leave it as long as possible do you know what i mean and then you know if i have to wash it i will I've got plenty of shampoo it's just you know i do try and leave it it's just fucking effort washing your hair i think anyway but um right i'll get on with it now i am going to stand up because i just feel very far away so that's better i feel closer now like do you know what I mean? I feel like we can communicate. Oh, but yeah, a bit heavy on the old uh, blush. But I feel like I've, you know, I feel really, I didn't fart then. So, oh, there's two birds on the fence. I, yeah, it's my door, my washer. Um, yeah, I feel good, you know. I feel like we've made progress. We are, you know, with the house as well, like, the house is slowly getting there um just to tidy up you know just a you know a bit of a lick of paint here lick of paint there you know and a few i mean steve's fixed the door today the hinges and stuff and you know i, I just yeah I, I feel very productive very yeah anyway right so yeah this shop actually cost me 69 pound plus an extra five or because you know they took the five pound four pound summit um, for me joint of pork and then they'd obviously added the cost of the other one they'd put me on but altogether, what I originally did was £69 
um, and it would have been a lot more obviously if I didn't use the coupon. So yeah, if you type in, um, like it's your first shop with Sainsbury's online, um, there'll be like a code, you know, to get 15 quid off. And I thought, you know what, 15 quid, you get quite a fair bit for that. So yeah, right, I got some cereal. So my lads love these. They actually are quite pricey in Lidl. So did I go Lidl last week? I think I went Lidl. Oh, I've got a book. Let me go get me a book. Right, I made a meal plan. Um, can you see my Titty McVitties? No, you can't. That's good. That's why I put my jacket on because sat on that chair. Just wear a bra, girl. Honestly, it's not hard. Right, this is my um, weight loss diary. I am doing, if you are new to my channel, I am doing um, weight loss updates weekly, Sunday, Monday kind of thing. So yeah, I started off on the 16th at, um, so I'm, this is a Sainsbury's all, bear with me. 16 stone two, I'm now 15, 13. So yeah, um, I'm obviously really trying to work on it now because um, I'm within the BMI range um, for this clinic that we're getting our test done. Um, but you have to be under uh, 35 BMI. So I'm just, you know, um, but I wanna be really, you know, comfortable under that BMI and as healthy as I can be, you know, so um, yeah. Right, this is my meal plan that I made. Um, so we've, because what I do is I go in the shop hungry with no idea. So I buy shit and I come home and I go, fuck, I've just spent 50, 60 quid and I've got about two meals, you know. So I've got cheese and tater pie. Steve will argue with me all day long that it's not a pie because there's no crust. All right, there's no pastry, there's no crust. And I'll tell him, what about shepherd's pie then? Come on. Come on, that is a good point. Cottage pie, shepherd's pie. I'll say, babe, listen, it is a pie, trust me. You know, cheesy mash basically, but he'll just say, oh, it's cheesy mash night. But yeah, cheese and tater pie, sausage and beans. Uh, staple in this house pizza chips salad garlic bread uh spit bolognese stuffed chicken mashed potato and green beans so i did want some sun-dried tomatoes but they were well expensive so we've gone with like a, a red pepper pesto bit of cheese wrap it in bacon so i got like a big you know thing of chicken breast uh mashed potato and green beans jacket potato tuna crunch chicken wraps just with like breaded goujons um, and a pork roast so with the wraps as well we'll have like wedges bit of salad that kind of thing but yeah and a pork roast so yeah i'm finding it much easier going in with a meal plan but um i shall get on with it now because i'm chatting shit but yeah these were a bit more um pricier in lidl so they're like 90 something p in sainsbury's so i was really happy with them so i've got two boxes my lads love these um they also got some kit kat fingers as well so yeah i do like a kit kat you know i do i got um some stuffing mix i did find overall like because they price match alder which is brilliant but i did find you know it was a lot pricier than say i don't know you know tesco can be quite good so i've been using tesco a lot recently uh but yeah it was a little bit more some things were a bit more pricier but overall it weren't too bad um toilet rolls i'm just going to turn my telly down because it's a bit loud but i've got some toilet roll coke four pounds 75 so I've got eight cans. Um, I am. It's one thing or another. You know, I've gone off energy drinks and now I like Coke. But I do limit myself because obviously it's quite sugary and stuff. And, you know, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be on too much of that. But I'm not cutting everything out. I'm being very uh, mindful of what I'm eating. But I'm, you know, not cutting everything out because I'll, I'll just fail, honestly. If I go full on. You know, I will. That's just who I am. And I think a lot of people can relate to that, you know. Got some wraps. Um, wholemeal ones. So, got some mayo. I'm not convinced this is going to be any good. And don't tell Steve it's in a glass jar. Because he doesn't like glass jars. Um, I've got two more glass jars here. Obviously, you can't pick and choose everything not to be in a glass jar. But, yeah, it was, you know, the cheaper option. Um, roasted red pepper pesto and some lighter tomato and herb bolognese sauce so yeah this is for me spag bowl and this is for my stuffed chicken four tins of tuna this is cheaper in Lidl um but I try and get everything from one shop so I'm not pissing around but all the things being cheaper kind of makes up for it uh baby wipes corn pits they're a lot 
thicker and fluffier than what the ones we usually get from Tesco. Um, a couple of packs of spuds, so one for cheese and potato pie, one for um, stuffed chicken, mash and green beans. Tyler has been leaving his apples, which are the red ones I've been getting, and he says, oh, I don't like them, so he prefers the green ones, so I've got them in. They were £1.70. £1.70? And then I got a bag of onions. I've uh, got some bananas and a pepper for tuna crunch. Some carrots and some um, jacket potatoes as well. I did get some custard, so what I'm going to do is a bit of custard with these little rolls. These were really cheap, they were like 40 something p. So they're raspberry and vanilla mini rolls, and I did get some custard, so I got some gravy as well. I was expecting them not to do cheap gravy, and they did. So I think gravy is just gravy, in my opinion, you know. Um, got some tomatoes. Oh, just, oh, a big pack of spaghetti. So yeah, that's a big, it's the only one they had, really, unless you go really up in price. It's like 50p, you know, a big one. Yeah, oh, oh no, peach slices. I love tin peach, honestly. So yeah, I got a few of them. Um, Sweet corn, that's quite small actually. Got a sweet corn. Got four tins of beans. So, yeah. Oh, and custard, that's it. So, you know, a bit of banana sliced up. You know, a couple of them. And some custard, that would be quite nice. Juice and ketchup. So, like 50 something each. And honey, because I've got some natural yogurt. So, what I'm going to do is like put some blueberries in, you know, a bit of banana. You know, the kids will like that. So, yeah, there's some cream please. Have I shown them? I don't know. But that is that bag. So, yeah. Nowhere to put anything. But, um, yeah, for a minute. They're frozen away. So, let me get them away now. But I've got a couple of pizzas. They were only a pound. One pound 25 each, I think. No, they weren't. They were a pound. I'm sure they were a pound. Some curly fries. Walkers. Just keep life simple. All right, and some wedges. I got mixed cauliflower and broccoli. So that's for cauliflower cheese on the pork roast. And then these meat I think they were like two fifty um, for wraps. So I got them. And then I think this is one more bag of frozen. Oh no, this is right. This is look nine pound forty eight. This was. They don't look that big. I know it might look it like that. £9.48. The one I picked up was £4.45. So, yeah, well, anyway, that's for Sunday. So, let me get me frozen away. I've got two milks. I have got a big milk as well in the freeze fridge, not freezer, because we ran out um, of the filtered one. So, yeah, I knew it wouldn't last, but I thought, you know, there might be a chance it will until this comes what it didn't. Then a double pack of garlic bread, some cheese slices. So I've got these, they were like 150. And then I've got a big block of cheese as well. So these are all like out there. Get you guys out, how's your price matched? So I've got them, pack lunch stuff. This is like, I've got two of them somewhere. Kids quite like them and the chicken they love these so grab them some chocolate mousses um because the frubes have been coming home they're not a fan of frubes anymore so yeah i'm trying to switch it up um grapes easy peelers some natural yogurt uh, ham and sausages so grab them and then Oh, here are, look. There we go. Got lettuce and some more chili strings. And then, oh, I've got cucumber and all. I've got some beef mints, some smoked, reduced salt, um, smoked bacon. And the last thing is a pack of chicken um, breasts. So this was £6 for this. Um, so I'm going to do stuffed chicken, like I said, wrapped in bacon, a bit of cheese, pesto. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, not bad. I don't think it's a bad um, lot for the price. Obviously, the coupon massively helped. So yeah, if you want to like, you know, do a Sainsbury shop, just type in, 
you know, first first time, I would say first time buyer. You know what I mean. I'm sure you'll be able to find like a coupon somewhere. I just typed in, you know, I type in each shop and then like discount code. So I do this with everything that I buy, by the way. I got a banging deal, okay, I've vinted. It's upstairs at the minute, but I'm gonna do like a get ready with me anyway. Um, I got, so for 18 pound off this girl, right, it's all legit. I got this um, Kat Von D foundation, brand new. Kat Von D concealer. I've never had Kat Von D, so I'm excited to try it. Um, what else did I get? Lip liner, mascara, lipstick, makeup bag, gift bag. And we also bought like a, was it Max Factor? No, it might have been L'Oreal foundation offer as well. You know, like bundle it and you get a bit of discount, don't you? So yeah, that is um, what I got for like 18 pounds. And honestly, I was so happy it arrived today and I couldn't believe it. You know, I was like, oh my God, like it was such a good deal. So yeah, because I ran out of foundation and whatnot. So I was having a look on Vinted and that. But anyway, um, I'm going to pack this away now. So just want to say again, honestly, thank you for your lovely comments on that video. Like we really appreciate it. So yeah, here's to moving forward. Always my friends, don't any of the kids get you down, right? You're fucking amazing. Okay, don't, honestly, like, I live by this. Don't let anybody in that doesn't deserve to be in, all right? Don't let people sap your energy, drain your energy, all right? You're so much better than that, honestly. And they're not worthy of your time. I always live by the fact that people are gonna chat shit anyway. People are gonna, you know, have judgment. People are gonna be negative and just not very nice. You know, that that's the world we live in, you know? So do what makes you happy anyway, you know? Because people will always have something to say, honestly. Like, you just gotta do you authentically, seriously. You just gotta do what makes you happy, all right? Without the fear of judgment, because that is what holds us back. Once you let go of that, honestly, you're laughing, you know? I, I live by that. People will always judge. People will never be happy. You will never please everyone, all right? Because why, why would you anyway? Like, why would you want to please everyone? You know, Sodom, you know? You're amazing, okay? Do you, do what makes you happy. I love you, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.